It all began in the summer of 1924, when an American astronomer called David Todd endeavored to listen to radio signals from the planet Mars. The timing was perfect. Mars would be at opposition, meaning that for a brief window, it would be at its closest point to Earth, coming within a meager 34 million miles of our planet. David Todd managed to convince the U.S. Navy to enforce intermittent periods of radio silence across the nation. The airwaves were to be made clear for five minutes at the beginning of each hour for three days between August 21st and 24th. And as the nation fell silent on the evening of August 21st, Todd's team tuned in. Soon, an astonishing signal flickered onto the paper, a series of waveforms. As tantalizing as the radio signal was, it quickly became shrouded in uncertainty. And in the end, Todd's team, wary of being dismissed as eccentric, concluded that the signal had nothing to do with Mars. Today we know that no radio signals from Mars were picked up as there was nobody there to send them in the first place. However, it was an interesting and exciting early attempt to find advanced alien species. The experiment had a great influence on future developments. The field of radio astronomy would be conceived within a decade, and in the next hundred years, humanity would push the boundaries of our understanding of the cosmos, exploring distant galaxies, discovering exoplanets and continuously searching for signs of extraterrestrial life. Today, we understand that detecting radio signals from distant parts of the universe is not unusual. Astronomers frequently observe numerous radio wave bursts from across the universe, which they refer to as radio transients. But recently, we've been detecting an unusual intermittent signal from space in a pattern never observed before. And here's where it gets fascinating. The signal keeps switching between three distinct states or modes, making it an extremely rare appearance. Welcome to territory. This is your space. Astronomers have recently discovered an incredibly strange radio signal that goes through three distinct states in a one-hour cycle. Although they have some theories about its origin, it defies explanation, based on our current understanding of physics. The signal was first detected in data collected by Australia's ASCAP radio telescope which monitors a large portion of the sky for brief, transient pulses. Officially named ASCAP J1935 plus 2148, the signal appears to repeat every 53.8 minutes. What's strange is that the signal goes through three distinct phases. At times it emits bright flashes lasting 10 to 50 seconds with the radio waves all pointing in the same direction, while other times the pulses are weaker with the radio waves forming circles and last just 370 milliseconds. What's stranger is that occasionally the object remains completely silent and emits no signal at all. What is intriguing is how this object displays three distinct emission states, each with properties entirely dissimilar from the others, said Dr. Manisha Caleb, lead scientist of the discovery. If the signals didn't arise from the same point in the sky, we would not have believed it to be the same object producing these different signals. So what could be causing this strange radio signal? While it's tempting to think of extraterrestrial sources, the door isn't entirely open to that possibility for scientists. But as the signal's strange features are unlike anything we have ever encountered, nothing can be ruled out as yet. The scientists who discovered it, however, believe the most likely source is either a neutron star or a white dwarf. But that assumption might fall flat as the unusual characteristics of the signal does not align with what we currently know about the physics of a neutron star or a white dwarf. You see, neutron stars and white dwarfs are both born from the deaths of bigger stars. In this case, a neutron star would be a prime suspect as they are known to blast out radio waves except for a major problem. They usually spin at speeds of seconds or fractions of a second per revolution, and it should be physically impossible for one to spin as slow as once every 54 minutes. Meanwhile, the second suspect, a white dwarf, would have no problem spinning that slowly, but as the team behind the discovery puts it, we don't know of any way one could produce the radio signals we are seeing here. What makes this signal fascinating is that it follows another strange repeating radio signal from space, discovered a few years ago that should be impossible coming from a natural source, 
and has left scientists puzzled. Yes, a mysterious radio wave pulses from deep in space have been hitting Earth for decades, but the scientists who recently discovered them have no concrete explanation for the origin of the signals. What's strange here is that for 35 years, the strange blasts of energy, in varying levels of brightness, have occurred like clockwork, approximately every 20 minutes, sometimes lasting for five-minute intervals. That's what Curtin University astronomers from the International Center for Radio Astronomy Research concluded in research, published in the journal Nature. The discovery of the signal, which researchers named GPMJ183910, has the scientists baffled. Believed to be coming from around 15,000 light years away from Earth, the signal has been occurring at intervals and for a period of time previously thought to be impossible. So how did they end up finding it suddenly after so many years? The story starts in 2018, when astronomers first detected another magnetar spinning much slower than usual and sending similar signals every 18 minutes. But by the time they analyzed the data in 2020, it was no longer producing radio waves. So they looked again, knowing that the chance was high they would find another long-term radio source. The team of astronomers used the Murchison Wide Field Array Radio Telescope in Western Australia to scan the Milky Way galaxy every three nights for several months. They didn't have to wait long to find what they were looking for. Within no time, a new source was discovered in a different part of the sky, this time repeating every 22 minutes with five-minute pulses. This prompted astronomers to look back in time, studying records at the Very Large Array in New Mexico, which maintains the longest-running archive of data, the researchers discovered that the source's pulse was first observed in 1988. That, in itself, was extraordinary. What's even more extraordinary is that the radio signal was able to go undetected for more than three decades, and this makes it clear that scientists have not determined with confidence what it could be. Could the signal be extraterrestrial? Not so fast. We will take that train and assume that ET is trying to phone our planet, but let's first look at what other theories the researchers have about what may be causing it. Even the lead scientists in the research admit that it can be tempting to include extraterrestrial intelligence as a possible source of the signal. In fact, that's what happened when the first pulsar was discovered and astrophysicists nicknamed it LGM-1 for Little Green Men 1 before additional observations caused them to rule out the possibility. So what might be causing it? Number one, pulsars. The most likely culprit, researchers say, is pulsars, neutron stars that blink and rotate like lighthouses, emitting energetic beams as they rotate toward and away from Earth. But there's a problem with this theory. Pulsars slow down as time passes, their pulses growing fainter with age until they eventually stop producing radio signals. What's more confounding? The object that the research has detected resembles a pulsar, but spins 1,000 times slower. This brings us to theory number two, magnetars. Another explanation researchers offer is that the object could be an ultra-long period magnetar, a rare type of neutron star, with extremely strong magnetic fields that can produce powerful bursts of energy. However, this theory comes with its cons. Until recently, all known magnetars released energy at intervals ranging from a few seconds to a few minutes, far more often than the 22-minute intervals that this object emits radio waves. Whatever mechanism is behind this, the researcher said in the statement, is extraordinary. This brings us to theory number three, extraterrestrial signals. Could this be signals sent by beings from another world? Keep in mind that the radio signals are coming from 15,000 light years away, likely originating from the Scutum constellation. Assuming it's a magnetar, it shouldn't be possible for this object to produce radio waves, but we're seeing them, and we're not just talking about a little blip of radio emission. Every 22 minutes, it emits a five-minute pulse of radio wavelength energy, and it's been doing that for at least 33 years. And since the object is spinning way too slowly to produce radio waves, could it be a Dyson sphere? Based on the way the light is twisted in these signals, it seemed to be coming to us through a highly magnetized environment. So what is it? Pulsars, 
magnetars, extraterrestrial signals. Only time will tell what else lurks in these data and what future observations will reveal. By examining whether there are similarities between this signal and the recent one, researchers might be able to understand the mechanisms behind the newly discovered emissions. For now, the wave's nature does not conform to any models that attempt to explain it. Whatever it is, it's definitely some really cool astrophysics that we just don't understand yet. What do you guys think it is? Drop in your comments to let me know. If you like my videos, kindly consider becoming a member to support the channel. And don't forget to subscribe to Territory, because this is your space.